How's it going everyone? It's Hobby from Mother Sponge about thousand and in this video, of course, we're gonna talk about when each region of the United States should experience their first snowfall this winter. And of course, many areas already have experienced their first snowstorm this winter, but there are also many other areas that still have yet to receive that significant snowstorm to impact their area this winter. As for some people, it might be coming a little bit later than you'd expect, but there's still a very good possibility you could experience your first snowfall as early as early December as we're going to take a look at several different factors to determine when you could experience your first snowfall in each region of the United States but before I begin make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather day content so let's begin by taking a look at the precipitation forecast provided from the GFS model because of course um, to determine if we're going to experience your if um, your specific location is going to experience your first snowfall this winter we got to take a look at the computer models for at least the short term future because there could easily be that possibility a snowstorm could move through your area or at least your first snowstorm could move through your area within the next week and as you can see we're going to have a multitude of snowstorms move through the west coast over the next several days which is typical during La Nina however in the areas that haven't experienced snowfall such as the coastal northeast regions of course the uh, more southern portion of the mid West, which includes Kansas, Missouri, Kentucky, and the southern portion of Indiana and Ohio, we do see that there isn't really um, much of any snow expected, or at least um, over the next week and approaching the early December time frame, as it seems like the jet stream is a little bit too far north to allow for snowfall to occur. This next trough that's expected to move through the United States will be a bit too far north and will primarily only include, um, include the northern Midwest states when it comes to snowfall, while the southern, um, more southern portions of the United States miss out on it entirely, as it seems like the jet stream is just a little bit too far north, and it con and the GFS model expects us to continue over nearly the next two weeks, where by the 10-day mark, we still don't really see any snowfall move through um, the areas that haven't received snowfall just yet in the winter as again the jet stream just seems like it's going to be a little bit too far north however in areas of california you could experience your first snowfall within the next week where we do see this trough um, moving ashore right around the pacific northwest and that could bring your first significant snowfall for many areas in the higher elevations of california right around the sierra mountains and this includes nevada as well and potentially the um, higher elevations that are closer to los angeles such as big bear mountain could get some snowfall of course um the and other mountains as well right around southern california could maybe receive their first snowfall associated with this trough but outside of that it seems like mainly the same areas that already have experienced snow will likely be the only ones that experience snow over the next week and you're probably wondering um if, if we could see this change we need to see a stronger uh stronger um northerly flow to allow for the jet stream to dip far south enough to bring snow um into the more southern portions but that still has yet to be seen but i'll keep you guys updated over the next several days taking a look at the temperature outlook over um going into the two week mark um, for the week of december 6 and december 12th we do see that temperatures are expected to be below average for much of the western united states but a lot of these areas already experience their first snowfall for the areas that haven't experienced their first snowfall Though um, you're mainly experiencing either average conditions when it comes to temperature or above average te uh, temperatures, at least when it comes to the forecast, where it's most likely that areas around Florida and the southeast will experience warmer than average conditions, while for the coastal northeast and the southern Midwest states, temperatures should hover maybe near um, normal for the most part. This this mimics sort of what happens during La Nina. The only exception is the southwestern portion of the United States, where it's typically a little bit warmer during La Nina, but for the northern United States and the southeast, this is typically, um, this does mimic the La Nina um, type conditions you experience um, during a given any given La Nina year, which is, of course, what we're expected to experience this winter so um for so based on the temperature forecast we could assume that it might it won't really go um 
enhance the chance of receiving your first snowfall in the areas that haven't received snowfall based on the fact that temperatures are most likely going to fall right around normal which normally could bring some snow in some areas because of course areas surrounding New York City and Philadelphia do typically experience their first snowfall right around early December but there isn't a huge indication especially based on what the computer models are saying that you will experience your first significant snowstorm at least in at least in early December so it, it's certainly um, something we're going to need to pay close attention to over the next several days another fact we're going to need to pay close attention to is the North Atlantic Oscillation. And we do see that the forecast is expecting a deep negative um, phase by the time we approach the early December time frame, which of course could promote the possibility of more significant jet stream dips. It, it does seem like the computer models are necessarily agreeing that we're going to see a significant um, jet stream dips over the next um, week, I'd say. But who knows, maybe beyond the week, um, maybe beyond the seven day time frame, we could begin to see that cold air filter in. And by middle of December, where the negative North Atlantic oscillation um, peaks, we could see maybe significant jet stream drips that would bring your first snowfall to many areas um, in the Northeast as well as the Southern Midwest. And if we were to take a look at the PNA pattern, we do see that now the PNA pattern is leaning more towards um, average, which might not necessarily be a good thing if you're into the snow, because if the PNA pattern shifts from a positive to more of an average phase, that does um, promote less jet stream dips to occur right around the eastern half of the United States, where of course the eastern half of the United States um, hasn't received much of any snowfall just yet this winter. So that may not be good news if you're into the winter, but the fact that there's a negative North Atlantic oscillation occurring right around the same time could maybe even that out, but we're just going to have to wait and see. It doesn't seem like the computer models are necessarily leaning towards that fact. And typically what happens during a negative um, North Atlantic oscillation, it's it pretty much um, correlates with a negative Arctic oscillation where we do see a weak low and a weak ridge right around the Atlantic which does reduce the wind the westerly winds which allows the cold air to have more of a chance to meander further southward into the United States since the winds are so weak and aren't able to trap as much cold air right around the polar regions while for the positive Arctic oscillation it's the exact opposite where we do see a stronger low and stronger ridge which does um, promote stronger um, westerly winds which traps the cold air right around the polar regions and so the fact that a negative Arctic oscillation could um, take shape by next week could promote more colder and snowier than average conditions. So we're just going to have to wait and see if that actually plays out headed into mid-December. And another thing we're going to need to take a look at is the daily snow extent. We do see that much of Northern Hemisphere at this time already is covered with snow. And taking a look at um, the snow cover um, compared to average, we do see that there's a little bit less snow than average right around the Northern Midwest and Northern Great Lakes. So that could make it a little bit more difficult that you receive your first snowfall a little bit earlier for the northern midwest and northeast because um, when there's less snow cover of course the temperatures are a little bit warmer because all that short wave radiation from the sun will be directly absorbed by the surface rather than blocked by the snow or absorbed by the snow which doesn't really um, key up as fast as let's say the surface because a lot of that short wave radiation the snow absorbs is used during the um, process of melting rather than actually heating up the snow. So as a result, a lot of that short wave radiation is wasted when there's snowfall on the surface. But that does seem like it's going to be the case for the northern Midwest where there's a little bit less snowfall than average. That could change with the next few troughs that move through. But as of right now, um, the, the lack of snowfall could make it a little bit warmer, which might make it more difficult for um, your first snowfall to occur a little bit earlier in some portions of the northeast. So that's only something 
to keep in mind. And take a look at the drought monitor. We do see that the drought is moving a little bit further east. We're now we're now the southeast, and even the um, Ohio River Valley is getting involved with some somewhat um, severe drought conditions, which could play a role in terms of when you experience your first snowfall. Because of course, during a drought, not only is there less precipitation than average, but it's typically a lot warmer than average during a drought because dry soil heats up a lot faster than moist soil. So of course, when the temperature is warmer, there's less likely to be snowfall. And that could play a role in terms of when you experience your first snowfall for the eastern half of the United States and could potentially delay it or push your first snowfall a little bit um, further back based on the fact that drought has moved a little bit further eastward. Of course, it's nowhere near as severe as what we're seeing right around the Midwest and the West Coast. And um, also, there's that possibility that the, the, um, the severe drought conditions could subside as a result of the multitude of troughs moving through the West Coast at this time. But as of right now, it seems like the drought is going to stay at least in some form over the next few weeks for the United States. So that could delay your first snowfall by quite a bit for a lot of the eastern half of the United States, potentially at least for the areas that haven't received snowfall. So that's at least something to keep in mind over the next um, several weeks. Now, um, in terms of my forecast of when you should experience your first snowfall this December, so um, for the northern portion of the uh, Midwest, um, one second here, um, it seems to be glitching. So you see that for the southern northeast, I'm expecting your first snowfall to be right around early December. This includes Connecticut, Rhode Island, the northern portion of New Jersey. And I think the Interstate 95 corridor cities such as New York City and Philadelphia, you guys will be right um, in between the border of early December and late December. So it, I think most likely your first major snowfall for those major cities would be right around mid-December because based on what we're seeing with the GFS and the European model, it doesn't seem like we're going to see any sort of significant snowfall move through at least anytime soon in the short term future. So I'm, I'd place my bets that you're more likely to receive your first snowfall right around middle December for those um, major Interstate 95 corridor cities. And then, of course, just the south of it, you should expect your first snowfall right around late December. This includes cities like St. Louis, Missouri, and this does include a large portion of Kentucky as well, Oklahoma City, um, as it seems like it's going to be a little bit later than usual for some areas as a result of some of the factors I just listed, such as the drought that we're seeing, as well as the fact that there isn't really um, as much um, snowfall on the surface right around the northern Midwest, which could warm up temperatures just a little bit. And the fact that we're not going to see that jet stream dip um, very far south, at least early on in December, based on what the computer models are saying. So it could be a little bit later than usual for the areas in the late December time frame. This includes Washington, D.C. and the Delmarva Peninsula as well. And then just south of it, you should expect your first accumulating snowfall right around January and February. February, which for a lot of these areas it's typical as of course it's a little bit more difficult to get that cold air to overlap with the um, with the moisture right around southeast for there to be accumulating snowfall in any given year for some of these areas but you should expect your first snowfall right around January and February and of course if you're in the pink you either are expected to receive snowfall before um, the month of December starts or already have received snowfall as even um, so on the western portion of Texas has already received accumulating snowfall um, from this recent um, snowstorm that did bring heavy snowfall right around western Texas and eastern New Mexico and you, we do see that even the interior northeast has received their first snowfall. We just have to wait um, to see that first snowfall approach the eastern coast of the United States as well as the southern Midwest states. But I'll keep you guys updated over the next several days regarding the chance you will experience your first snowfall. But anyways, guys, I thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather content. I hope you guys have a great day.